our RTX 3070 graphics card. Come on, hold together, baby. One of you is about to be extremely happy that MSI sponsored this video because I get comments, tweets, and emails freaking constantly. Linus, can I please have a free PC, please? You have so many PCs, can you send me one, please? I'm your biggest fan. And I always ignore them because the truth of the matter is when we finish building PCs, we usually take them apart and put them back on the shelf so that we can use them to make another video. Cause that's what we do. We make videos, we don't build PCs. Well, not today because the first person whose email comes up, let's see, follower, free computer, please, is getting a free computer. Swara Moravada? It's your lucky day. I'm gonna build you a free computer. And then I am never doing this again, so stop asking. But don't give up hope either, because MSI is giving away RTX 3000 series graphics cards, and you can check out that giveaway in the link below. You know, it clearly worked, so I shouldn't criticize it too much, but this is one of the worst please send me a free PC emails that I've ever seen. First of all, you don't say you've been a follower of the channel for a month. You say, I have been your biggest fan for 10 years since before I was even born. And you don't say that you have an extremely slow HP Core i3 laptop. That sounds like some pretty decent technology. You say that you're still, you know, editing your streams on an Asus Transformer TF101 Android tablet. You know, you gotta make it really pathetic. And don't give me an easy out, like just sending you a free keyboard. I mean, we don't even have to send this guy a computer. Really? Yeah, we could have totally just sent him a pink keyboard and he would have been fine. Or she, I actually yeah. have no idea. Uh, I don't know, I, sorry, I don't, uh... <laughs> I already said I was gonna build a computer, so gosh darn it, I'm gonna build a computer and a darn fine one it is going to be. Step number one, Swara, we're taking your lowly Core i3 mobile chip and replacing it with a 10th gen Core i7. That's right, an eight core processor that turbos up to 5.1 gigahertz for that extreme gaming. We're gonna be throwing it in the MSI MPG Z490 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi. This is an overclocking capable board, four DIMM slots, so you'll be able to upgrade your memory down the road. It's got support for SLI, as if that's really a thing anymore, and even two and a half gig networking. Oh yeah. A $270 motherboard, you say, Alex? Well, that would have made sense back when this was basically the fastest gaming processor that you could put in it. Fun fact, by the way, Suara, this is exactly the Core i7 that Anthony used in his testing against the new Ryzen 5000 series. Right there, that's it, the one that lost. <laughs> but it's still really good, don't worry, it's like, it's fine. <laughs> you know, it's funny, because the intention behind this video is to shut up these requests once and for all by saying on camera, no, we are not going to do that. But I feel like the fact that we are building Suara a machine is only going to encourage some of the more persistent ones Wow, 16 gigs, 3600 CL16? This is good shit. Yeah. What are my notes for the SSD? Free Acronis True Image, fast enough. Set oh my God, this is Gen 4. Why are we putting all the good shit in this computer? Okay, well, you're getting a Gen 4 drive, Swara. I mean, not that this is a Gen 4 capable CPU, but hey, you know, the board is Gen 4 capable. So when, uh, when Rocket Lake shows up, you'll be ready. This is the Gungear, Gung, Gungear, Gungear 170? 110R. 110R. It's a case, all right. Do, do you want some better notes there, Linus? <laughs> I mean, it's got a front USB Type-C port. That's pretty cool for a more budget-oriented case. Tempered glass side panel, right? Okay. It's got three fans in the front and maybe even a little bit of ventilation for them. Not much, but should be enough for this build. See, you got some mesh over here, three front fans. They also have the 110M that does have a mesh on the front. Oh, why didn't we get the M? Colton got the parts. Colton got the parts, oh, I should have known. I mean, it's a free computer. So like, if you have to do that, you'll do that. I should probably perform a lot better. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, built-in RGB? This may not actually be that cheap of a case. It's got a lot of 
features in it. So there was a request, a special request for the case to be pink. Our intention was to laser this case is pink on the side panel um, because we couldn't actually get a pink case very easily. Uh, but unfortunately our laser's out of commission, so we have a new solution. Thank you, sir. Again, it's free. What are you gonna do about it? For our power supply, we went with a classic. MSI doesn't make power supplies yet. So we've gone with the RM850X. It's fully modular, it's 80 plus gold, it's got a 10 year warranty. So you'll be, yep, you'll be running this power supply for a very, very freaking long time. And it can supply enough power for our RTX 3070 graphics card. Do we only need three cables for this? 24 pin, eight pin CPU power, and then a dual eight pin for the GPU. Is that it? Now, one SATA for the built-in RGB lighting. Oh yeah, we can make that thing. Oh, yeah. In terms of cable management, it is a mid tower, so it's definitely a little tight, but it's not bad. All we gotta do is run this RGB header over to the motherboard, which presumably will kind of pop up there somewhere. SATA power to this puppy. Mm -hmm. That powers our RGB and fan controller there. Jam that in there. And then, what is this? Oh, it's only an RGB hub. No way. It's happened. What? Case manufacturer, given the option, foregoes a fan controller or fan hub and includes RGB only. Yeah, so we'll plug all the fans into the motherboard. <laughs> Do you have enough headers? Oh snap, it does have enough fan headers. It's got eight. We fancy now. Look at that, four of them are right along the edge there too. Let's pop this puppy in here. IO shield? Uh, oh, it's got an included IO shield. Cool. All the fancy boards have included IO shields now, Alex. This is fun. The fans are even addressable RGB. So I'll pop those onto the rainbow header. I love that they call it that. There's not much to say about the Meg Core Liquid 240R, but it's a dual 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler. The pump is actually integrated in the radiator, which is pretty cool, rather than in the CPU block. And it's got a neat little rotatable piece on the CPU block so that the dragon is always right side up, no matter how you have to orient it. Oh yeah, and it includes RGB fans. What do you think, Alex? We go top mount with exhaust? Sure. All right. Oh, damn, wrong bag. Where's the mounting hardware for the case? Ah, oh, it. New plan, Alex is gonna go find some fan screws, which were not included, unfortunately. And we're gonna mount these in the top just as exhaust fans. And then we're actually gonna use the included fans and put the radiator right about here. Oh yeah. Oh, Alex, I lied. We can steal the fan screws from these ones because we're gonna bolt through them. Cool. We're good. We're good. I might even put all the screws in. Wow. Yeah, I'm feeling generous today. How do I want the tubes to run? Probably like that. Does that look all right, Andy? That looks so. Cool. Make sure we remove that before we put it on there. I'd be a little awkward. And silicon. Burning silicon. I was worried about the RGB wiring, but actually the hub has six slots. So that covers my six fans. And then get this, I have one more RGB element right here, which is the CPU block, but there's actually one more rainbow header right there in the CPU area. Boom, we good. Easy peasy. Now we just gotta make sure we remember to put thermal compound on before we mount this thing. Let's go ahead and pop that puppy on there. Then we've got these spring-loaded thumb screws. This is looking darn fine and pink too. Oh, shoot, I didn't do any of the front panel connectors yet. There we go. With that little detail taken care of, we are ready for the finishing touch. Our RTX 3070 graphics card. Come on, hold together, baby. Oh, wow, this is stressful. It's really big for a 70 class card. Also, what the F is this? An HDMI and DisplayPort port cover are on the PCI Express lock and the little nubbin here instead of in the back. 
Someone must have been fooling with Someone us. Someone at MSI must have just been like, <laughs> I'm gonna mess with the carb sending Linus. No vapor chamber on this one, but that is a freaking ton of heat pipes in there. And this is a taller than normal card. So the cooler itself is enormous. Even has a bit of like through cooling on the end there. Oh yeah, you're right. Obviously they just wanted to treat Suara to the latest in gaming technology. Oh my God, is this not gonna fit in here? <laughs> Hold on, I think it might fit. Give me a second, I need to pull the thing out first though. Oh, <laughs> it is less than a centimeter from the fins of the radiator. That's it. It looks good. Like Colton configured this thing and it's still good. Let's fire it up. Wait, what are we doing? What? We haven't put our desk pad down yet, lttstore.com. Oh yeah, man, these are sick. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh yeah, and the MSI peripherals. These are these are part of the giveaway too. <laughs> Kale Blues, the headset. 7.1 surround. All right, RGB. Rock on. Where's my clutch gaming mouse? Oh geez, you oh, looked away. Oh geez, Alex. <laughs> this is Precision Omron Switch Pixar PMW 3330 sensor. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty decent. Okay, cool. And of course, RGB. We're gonna try with the non-perforated front panel. Yay! All right. Hey, that's even like kind of close to pink. <laughs> sort of. We're installing Dragon Center to get our RGB working. Check this out. It's Lucky. How you doing, Lucky? Okay, it picked up. The motherboard, graphics card, keyboard, and mouse. That's pretty good. You just want pink, right? I just want pink, yeah. You just want pink, all right. Okay, it's pink. Except, Except the, the fans. fans that are red for whatever reason. Native res, ultra nightmare, apply changes. Can we talk about the monitor? No, we did not. Thank you for bringing that up. So it's 165 hertz, uh, 2560 by 1440. Curved, obviously, 27 inches. Yeah, 1440p is still the sweet spot and 3070 is a lot of FPS at this resolution. Yeah, this seems like okay gaming rig. Yeah, I guess if it was free, I'd, I'd take it. Ah, yes. Tis a fine pink computer. Thank you to MSI for providing all the parts for this build. Congratulations to our lucky winner. And of course, good luck to the rest of you who are gonna have a chance to win an MSI RTX 3000 series card just by checking out the details down in the video description. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you'll also enjoy the other all MSI build that we actually did like, what, like a month ago or something yeah, like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's a good watch. It's not pink, but that's okay. Neither is this, if we're being honest. <laughs>